We are standing in the middle of a tremendous rock cut on the Central New England Railroad in Norfolk, Connecticut. We're going to hike on the old Central New England Railroad or Connecticut and Western here up, a, up into an area called Stony Lonesome. This property is owned by the Norfolk Land Trust and is a setup for hiking and skiing only. So I'm going to go with snowshoeing as being all right. If you're interested in seeing the GPS track of today's hike, there is a link in the video description below. Initially, the trail follows a Ashpatag road here. Today's hike is one of three videos on the Billings Trail in the Norfolk area. If you'd like to see the others, I'll put a link above and at the end of this video. So we've just uh, been walking on this curved fill here. To our left is the main route to uh, Canaan and Norfolk. On our right is the hill. Typically after a large fill, you're rewarded with a long cut. So a rock cut here would have been blasted by the railroad to keep a relatively level right away. This is Stony Lonesome. At 60 feet deep, this rock cut is one of the deepest and longest on the line. It is littered with rock and fallen trees. These rock falls were a constant danger for the railroad. In the next episode, we'll explore one such incident in detail. This trail is part of the Billings Trail. And there's only one review on all the trails. It's actually three segments. It says that they're trees and it's hardly worth calling a trail, but I will tell you that this stretch has been pretty good. And in fact, you can see these trees have recently been cut down. So it may have been the case in some of the other sections of the trail, but in this section, it looks pretty good. As we enter uh, another large rock cut here, we can definitely see nature has a way of, of filling in the uh, gaps here. A couple of large rocks have tumbled down inside the right of way. built stone culverts to prevent washouts by allowing rainwater and snow melt to pass under the right of way. Well, just right alongside the trail is this triangular shaped obelisk. I'm assuming it was maybe a mile post marker. This large opening is a cattle pass. Fences along the right of way kept cows off the tracks and these were used to safely move cattle between pastures. Take a look at the construction here. We have old rail, concrete that's fallen down underneath that, thin earth concrete. And then we have stone and mortar along the side. Fortunately for me, the owner of the property here was out and doing some chores. And he uh, let me know that this was a uh, public access. He was the owner, but he gave the Land Conservancy the right for folks to walk through here. He also owned the property across the road um, as well. Located between this former railroad shed and the road is a double box culvert and a well. So we got some maple sugaring here.
Look down there, you can see the steam coming out of the roof. That's gotta be maple sugaring going on down there. It's the time of the year when the hot and cold's going back and forth and that's when the sap runs. Looks like we've uh, come across a campsite here. We got a barbecue, a bus, some chairs and a table. This area we have a view of an abandoned deer stand probably, and a view of the Canaan Valley, or East Canaan Valley. And we're continuing on to College Street. It's like we're coming to a point where the right of way has become a driveway. Uh, I'm gonna take off my snow shoes here and see if I can get all the way to College Street before turning around. I kept an eye out for no trespassing signs, but there were none, so I kept walking. New College Road looks like it's a private drive, or maybe it's a road. Um, there's one house at the end. There's a couple houses off to the right, up the hill. But I can see, I think I can see College Street here coming up. All right, we have reached College Hill Road. I'm looking back on the right of way here that we just walked down. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.